All right, Statesman football fans, it's time to keep checking in on your team. This is Herb Brooks. I'm Katie Smith. We're going to continue with the position previews today. We're going either side of the ball, so what are we talking about now, Herb? We're going to talk about the tight ends, and let's go ahead and check and see what the 2013 Delta State University tight ends are, have to offer. Well, at tight end this year, it's been a real pleasure to coach Reed Faulkner. He's a pre-conference, first team guy, so it's really been a pleasure to coach him. He's a real smart kid. He's a veteran. we got a lot of young guys in the group, especially Kentarius Gray, Reigns Rester, Austin Campbell. Trace Bray, so it's been great to have that leadership around to coach those guys. Um, unfortunately, we got eight guys for one position, so everyone can't get reps. But Reed, James, and Kinteris, they've been our guys, and they've been continuing to battle it out. But Reed's going to be our guy that I'm really looking forward to to see what he can do on the field. Go! Good, good. That boy, Austin, that's what I'm talking about. Good. Reed Faulkner, he's going to catch the ball. He's got some of the best hands on the team, and you know, I'm looking for Reed to really get after on line scrimmage and in the backfield. So I think leadership. I mean, with a young team like this, you got to have a leader. Um, he's a guy who's played in the national championship, so you definitely need that because obviously that is the end goal for every team in Division II, especially us. So it's been great to have that leadership on and off the field, and uh, with the young team, you always need that. James Johnson was here with us during spring, so he kind of knows a little bit what's going on. He's a real physical guy, um, so we're kind of he hasn't had to catch up with anything, just picking up where we left off with spring. Uh, Kentarius Gray is a kid who was a running back in high school, so there's been a little bit of transition there, uh, blocking people and putting his hand in the ground, but he's done a real good job, and uh, I'm really excited to see what he's going to do in his four years. Um, it's a position where we got to be physical, and then, you know, we got our hand on line scrimmage, extension of the offensive line, and then uh, we're also in the backfield kicking out guys, so just the physicality, we got to get more physical. Um, that's where I, I want our unit to be head, you know, head busters, and got to be real physical. They haven't had any mental mistakes. Uh, we had a couple today, but before today, we only had two all camp. And that's something that's, uh, that's been great. You can coach physical mistakes. Uh, you can't coach mental mistakes. You got to get in your playbook. I tell them all the time, you know, with the physical mistakes, I can coach off film. That's, that's fine. That's going to happen. With mental mistakes, we can't have that, but they've been real good about that. We don't use the tight ends a whole lot. We don't have a whole lot that we do, but when we do it, uh, we got to do it good. And I thought we had a real good scrimmage. We caught the ball well, uh, blocked really well. We didn't have any mental mistakes in scrimmage, which is good. And we can continue to build off that. I just wanted to be the most physical unit on our team. They got to be an extension of the offensive line, but we got to have a little finesse, just like the wide receivers catch the ball. Let's move across the line, see what the safeties have to offer this year. And we'll hear from the coaches about the 2013 Statesman safeties. Been doing a good job. Been doing a good job, especially my free board. safety Brian Walker. He's uh, been doing very well, especially leading the secondary back there, breaking on balls, making plays. Got some young guys as well that have been stepping up. Not in particular, David Evans and uh, Rico Beck with the two guys that come to mind. And I'm um, also got two older guys as well. My other safety spot, uh, Richard Nash and um, Dandrick Jackson, have been doing well as well. <laughs> Brian does a lot of things well. Brian does a lot of things well. Really, uh, just his explosive ability in general. Being able to break on balls, you know, coming downhill, breaking on balls over the top, um, just breaking at, in the, as a whole. Also, uh, I guess just his general just ranginess uh, is his very good asset that he has. He's able to uh, make a lot of plays in space, which is a very good asset. That they've been coming along good. They've been coming along good. Uh, like, like I said, I got uh, I got four older guys and four young guys, and they've been meshing real well together. I got four freshmen, and uh, the four older guys have been kind of taking them under their wing and. Uh, we providing them uh, good guidance as far as how things are done here at Delta State, which has been very encouraging. And so um, in that regard, I'm definitely pleased. Wilson Curtis, one of the new guys from Louisiana, he has a lot of ability and he's a really good athlete, but he hadn't played football in two years. So he's just trying to get back into the groove, knock the rust off a little bit. Kenny Barnes has been playing really well. He's done a lot better, improving, and he's worked his way up to the top of the depth chart right now. So. Um, he's been improving. Fred Marshall works hard. He's older, 28 years old. We graduated high school the same year, so he has some limitations when it comes to that. Marshall Bergen, he uh, works hard every day, and uh, he's been doing well as well. I'm expecting a lot. I'm expecting a lot. We, um, you know, with, with having those older guys around, you know, they're guys that I expect to be playmakers this year. Um, you know, we helped uh, be able to force a lot of turnovers on defense. And, um, you know, of course, for the safeties, we, you know, a lot of inter interceptions is what we, we expect. And so um, as long as we're able to break on balls, key the quarterback and stuff, um, I think we, we'll, we'll be able to do that this year. The first scrimmage, we were uh, lacking a little bit as far as our effort goes and things like that. But I think we addressed that, and uh, that definitely improved uh, with this scrimmage. And so um, as long as we keep getting, uh, getting to the ball, uh, that's the main thing I'm worried about. Um, um, as far as the passing game goes, we're going to continue to be uh, get better in our assignments, reading routes things like that, but uh, as, long, as long as we're breaking on the ball and have good effort, that's a, a definitely a sign to build on. So our tight ends and safeties looking pretty good this year. We may even have small conference players in there. Yep, we'll have to wait and see. Mm -hmm. I'm Herb Brooks along with Katie Smith. We'll see you later.